Okay, guys, welcome to another episode of Tours in My Closet. And you see here today we're going to take a look at none other than the NECA Ultimates Disney Gargoyles Lexington. And you can see here that the box art is really, really nicely drawn with Lexington in the front, as you can see. And then if you look at the spine on the side, it has a picture of the figure with his whited out eyes and really nice with the font on the side. And then you go to the other side and you see another picture of the figure in the promotional shot. In the top part of the box, we have the gargoyle font that says Lexington. Let's see if we can get it. Shot and then the bottom is just legal lead. Then we turn it around the box and we have Lexington here. Gargoyle, and then we have the synapses as you can see there. With other pictures of him uh, actually in, in poses, and then a picture of the cross cell from other characters. So if you open this up in the front, We'll see real quick immediately next to the and his glory there inside the you know uh, bubble clear casing he looks complete and then a nice picture of him there on the side on top of uh, the castle or the church if you will and all of his glory so he looks really really nice and another one thing I want to point out is that he is a very small figure compared to the other gargoyles. So sit back, relax, enjoy a digital drink, and hopefully you'll join me for the rest of this review. You see I'm starting it on my car just to give it kind of a different touch and feel and make it a little gritty and edgier. And let's just see uh, how good the figure is, what you have to offer if you like it. If you don't like it or if you're just a dud. So I'll see you guys in the blink of an eye on the table of re on the review table, of course. I'll see you soon. All right, guys, how are you? Here we have them. Here is Lexington out of packaging. And we have it here on the table. So hopefully you guys will enjoy the closer look that I'm going to try to do and present to you here. Uh, with the intro, obviously, that I did in my car. So, let's take a closer look at Lexington. And you see that the first thing you're going to notice is how really incredible his uh, attention to detail here in his face area is really well executed, as you can see which we all know is in true NECA fashion, as always. All the beautiful highlights that you always get with the details in the paint job, all the black washes within the rib cage area, the, the pectoral area, the shoulder area, the neck area, the face, eyes, right? The ears, you see the arms, and he is a smaller figure, like I told you guys before. And you see here that he is a little stiff because he's still fused from the box. You see this time around, the wings are soft goods and they do pop out. Let me peg in the back there. But they do pop out uh, because they're connected to the part of the arm here and the leg down here um, because I think that's the way by design he's like a, he almost have like that bat like uh, aesthetic and style big nice hands and arms as you see the detail on the actual wing on the outside with that brown texture look leathery almost and skin like he has detail in the back with that nice green, olive green. He looks very olive green, like an olive oil. You see all the details in the feet. Again, 
as always, and then obviously his uh, uh, sla you know, growing area with the sla sa sash. It looks almost like a denim blue, like jeans. The black belt with the nice gold belt buckle. And then the big, big, big wide eyes, giving it that beautiful cartoon look with the little two snaggle tooth coming out in as you can see there in the front you know so he looks fantastic and just to give you a quick quick idea how short he is compared to the other gargoyles which you'll see a little bit later anyway i'm gonna put him right here and place him for a second and i'm gonna put a gi joe classified valkyrie next to him so you see real fast you can get an idea how short he is he's even smaller than her <laughs> so that's how small he is in comparison to the other gargoyles that are almost like seven and eight inches as far as their size and scale so let's take a quick look at you know Lexington's accessories and what he came with so we'll pan the camera down a little bit like so and zoom in really fast, a little bit like that. As you can see, it can concentrate more on his accessories, like so. So the first thing we'll start off is he brings three sets of hands, six hands in total, and they're matching hands. So here we have the first matching hand, which is the fisticuffs with paint on them done really well as you can see there that looks like uh, like if he had like uh, some type of black spot in between I think that's a spot of paint or it might be his hands I'm not sure like I said um, he has a spot there I think it's a paint blemish and if we look at the other one on the other side notice right away that this one does not have it right so I think that's I think it's supposed to be painting of the nail so that is a, 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 a indiscrepancy for sure so that's the first thing then he comes with another set of hands which are more open-ended like he's you know like claw like position you see all the levels of details within the inside of the skin and lines going across paint job outside all that nice black wash that look phenomenal then he brings his um, headphone communicator painted really well with grays and blacks and light grays and the reason for that is because Lexington is obsessed with technology or human technology if you will his second head portrait is probably my favorite part which is beautiful whited out eyes with that big open mouth the teeth showing and the tongue like he's angry and about to tear something up that looks really good in the sculpting is second to none absolutely phenomenal then he brings this remote control thing it looks like control sign i'm pretty sure this had something to do in the cartoon which i really didn't invest a lot of time in and that's why i'm not familiar with this accessory it has nice coloring with the red light and then the antenna going kind of up pretty pretty nice size as you can see right there the brace and the matte gray then his most beautiful looking accessory has to be none other than this cross uh, bow and this looks absolutely stunning with all that silver gunmetal weathering and the wood and the spikes all the attention to detail with the nice little you know washes in there and then you see how, how you see how uh, 
has all that attention to detail on top with the wooden handle and everything. And then these are real chains, which is really impressive. And it looks absolutely stunning with those with that like pokey pokey thing in the front. That looks like it would stab somebody and hurt them real bad. And then it brings the most delicate accessory of this figure, which is the arrows. These are the arrows that and they actually you can actually put one in with the silver tips as you see. And then the bottom or the back half has a little white to them which you can actually load up into his crossbow and you know I'll show you right here. You just basically put it in through here like so and then push this down here and then it'll go right in. And there you see it and it's loaded in. You can even see the tip of the arrow right there. So that's really cool that they paid that much attention to detail. It allows you to load it up in real time. So guys, there is the accessory. So what I'll do next is let's take a quick look at the articulation of Lexington. Really fast, really fast, the articulation, the head goes left, the head goes right, the head can look all the way up and that, which looks funny, but if you can see, it looks up quite a lot, and it looks down a substantial amount, obviously it goes left and right, and then obviously it has really nice tilt. So overall, really nice ball peg. It gives you a lot of nice range. Now, as far as the shoulders, this is the part I hate because they feel so stiff that it feels like you might break the peg that connects the, bi the bicep with the shoulder because they just don't go up very easily. And then the, constri the, con the restriction of the actual, you know, a hindrance of the actual wings uh, doesn't allow you to go up very much so it just goes up that much and then you do have swivel in in the bicep and then it has a as you can see here double jointed elbow which kind of comes down because again this way it was constructed is too tight and it pulls down and doesn't let you really close the elbow the right way you know it kind of keeps having resistance obviously the wrists go this way and this way this hinge goes up and down and he has the torso cut there you know the, the torso swivel and then the torso cut which does have movement like so that's right you see how it moves and then that pops out because this figure is smaller. Everything seems to be popping out easier. Give me a second. Guys, give me a second. So like I was showing you guys, you know, the movement is there. He goes back that much and then he can bend forward with the head of course looking down that much and give the illusion that he has a lot of bend but it's really not as much as it probably looks like on camera then uh, the legs can do a bend and split um, he does have swivel here on the top thigh and it has a single on the on the knee and then obviously down here has that um, hinge that goes up and down and then the rocker obviously rocks left to right and then the toe tip goes up like so goes back I feel like it goes back more than it goes up which is hard to, to handle because their feet are supposed to be like this that's how they're supposed to stand 
but this design here they made it where it's like the lizard from Marvel and you know whiplash from Masters where it doesn't bend straight so it's very difficult and very limited um, to the way that you want to really stand them and then the tail of course is you know uh, fully articulated with a rubber wire technology in the actual tail so as far as articulation he's okay but I feel that there's a lot of restrictions and feels very rough and uh, you feel a lot of uh, resistance against when you're trying to move him around because of the way he was constructed so it's decent but not as good I feel as the others before him so let's put on the accessories on our brother here Lexington and here we go guys here is Lexington fully accessorized and I forgot to mention really fast that the other set of hands that he has is basically his gripping and holding hands for the weapons which is his crossbow and for the you know the controller here that he has uh, to control whatever electric gadget he has and I love that the green paint on him is like a nice matte finish it looks really good so here he is in all of his glory with all of his accessories and with my favorite portrait which is the one with the mean face I know it probably looks a little bit odd because he has the the actual headphones or headset but I don't care I just like having it all on him and the crossbow again it's badass and then you know as you know him with his tail so there he is with his accessories. Now, I guess one more thing we could do is try to do a couple of comparisons with him with his other uh, family and brethren in the Gargoyles neck line. So, I'll be right back. So, here we go, guys. Here is a comparison next to, I believe this is Broadway. And obviously Goliath, the leader. He could be Bronx, I'm not sure, but I think it's Broadway. But either way, please correct me if I'm wrong. You see how small and the disparity of size he is, but they are in the, in the right scaling. You have Goliath being the tallest, obviously Lexington being the smallest, and then um, Broadway or Bronx over here being in between the both of them like medium size and they look fantastic next to each other don't get me wrong it's just you know um, for the price that you pay for this it's basically the same price you pay for these guys and he doesn't come with a plethora of accessories and he's very small so I think this would have been a big opportunity or a good opportunity for NECA to have added or included a set of the relaxed wings for maybe him or the other guy, either ha uh, Le uh, Hamilton or um, Hudson rather, or or like I said, uh, uh, Broadway uh, or Bronx. For either one of those three, it would have been nice if he would have in included uh, the relaxed wings for one of those guys, and it would have justified the price of the $35.99 in some places $39.99 um, and that's probably going to be the hardest thing and one of the biggest negatives with the figure as far as you know picking it up and what you pay right and of course some of the restrictions with the articulation but that is more due to the design of you know of, of uh, Lexington so <laughs> like I said um it's wonderful because this kind of finishes out the team. They did and uh, just showed recently um, Macbeth and another villain that I didn't even know existed. That looks awesome. I might get those two and that's it. I'm done with the line. I don't want to really get the human characters like the girl and the other man. But I'm going to have to probably do it because I want to get the 
relax wings as well for everybody else. So let's see how that goes. But as far as having the team, you know, he kind of, you know, Lexington here completes it. And you see how cool they look next to each other. So let's do a little other smaller comparison. Uh, so here he is next to the Jada Toys Street Fighter 2 um, Fei Long and you know these are kind of smaller figures in the 6 inch scale and then we have him next to the brand new, newly released uh, G.I. Joe Classified Series uh, Low Light as you can see how he scales next to figures like these so Let's bring in, and now we brought in the DC uh, Classics uh, Universe uh, Catman and the re newly released Premium DNA uh, Battle Tools. As you can see, this is Rash. And you see the disparity in sizes so you know it's depends on how you feel but that's how they would look side by side with different scales so let's bring in maybe one more comparison and here we have them next to the NECA Ultimates Dungeons and Dragons vintage toy vintage toy style reimagination of the troll Zarek and also we have here the Mythic Legions by the Four Horsemen, Figura Obscura, Krampus, or some people say Krampus, but there you have it. Um, side by side by some other figures that have kind of the same feel and style in the material uh, next to, you know, uh, the Lexington. So now I'm going to give you my final thoughts and the end the review here we are boys and girls here is Lexington on the spinning tray that I have and again what are my thoughts I think this figure is absolutely stunning very cool looking badass and obviously is the final piece to completing the whole uh, original team of the Gargoyles, which makes it feel like, you know, a bit of a completion to the line. Whether you want the other subsidiary, secondary characters, obviously that's also your personal choice. But for me personally, collecting so many lines and trying to just build up and concentrate on other things that I also have to prioritize. I'm kind of glad that I was able to finally finish the line here with Lexington because I do have Angela as well, the daughter of, you know, uh, Goliath, um, but I have to review her. I haven't been able to. And I plant it. So that's uh, what makes it satisfying for me. Almost like the way that I was able to finish Defenders of the Earth, uh, which is a short thing, a short run with all the main characters that are in the team. And once you have them, you put them on your shelf, you don't really need to continue to get more or extra um, characters. Uh, you know, and if you did. You know all that and basically you know just uh, icing on the cake so to speak now I don't know why he kept, he kept turning on me uh, because I have him here but let's fix him up a little bit here we go but like I said Lexington looks great and I really think that he's worth it uh, any, every penny. Now, the only gripe is that because he's so small and he doesn't really come with a lot of accessories in comparison to the other gargoyles that NECA kind of missed uh, 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 missed a, a bullet here 
um, by not including one of the other relaxed wings for one of the other main characters. Well, there was Bronx, not Bronx, Brooklyn, uh, uh, Hudson, you know, or Broadway. Um, whichever one, it didn't matter. Uh, you know, uh, I think it should have just drawn it. And it would have gave the value of this figure a lot higher, made it feel more complete. But, you know, it is what it is. NECA sometimes has to try to make some money back in some areas uh, because I'm pretty sure with all this paint job, sculpting, and the type of work that they bring, uh, they probably, you know, don't make as much money from each individual figures, of course, the way that we would suspect, right? Unless it's a very popular figure, like he's done very well with the Predators, for example. So, Lexington is fantastic. I give him a thumbs up. Uh, and I would highly recommend to put him in your collection. So, guys, there it is. Those are my thoughts. And that is my review of the brand new NECA Ultimates Brooklyn. I mean, NECA Ultimates Gargoyles or Disney's Gargoyles Lexington figure. So, Drop a comment down below. Let me know what you guys think. If you guys got them, if you guys haven't picked them up, or if you're thinking about picking them up, or if you enjoyed the review enough that now I convinced you to pick them up. Whatever the case may be, it's all good for figure conversation. And as usual, leave a thumbs up if you liked the video, thumbs down if you didn't like the video. Please share the video with someone you think might enjoy it as well. If you're new to the channel, thank you for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you're kind enough to actually subscribe and join my journey and my family remember i consider you now part of my family because i know you didn't have to and for all of you who continue to give me continuous support through the years all this time and still stay by my side thank you i am forever grateful and to each and every one of you because without you this channel would not be sustained and as always you guys can find me at any social media platform it's all down in the description below. And also, if you ever want to help out the channel in any way, shape, or form, because you enjoy what I do, and you want me to continue to do it, or you want to help me fund some of these projects that are very expensive because I am not sponsored, I don't have super chats, and I do not get endorsements from no company, even though I've been trying to because of my subscriber count. Uh, you know how you can do it. Again... It's only if you want to, from the kindness of your heart. It's not mandatory. And it's only if you have the means to as well. So, it's all down in the description below with my Patreon and my PayPal information. Now, if you guys want to donate anything to the channel, because, you know, you want me to highlight it the way I did here, or want me to review it the way I did this figure here, I would be more than honored and more than humble to do so. All you would have to do is, again, hit me up on any of the social media outlet platform on DMs and shoot me a DM and we'll work out the particulars. So guys, it's been a blast. I hope to do some more content soon. It's just very, very, very I've been very busy and I also haven't been feeling too great. So. Bear with me, I'm still here. I haven't gone anywhere. Um, then I continue to, you know, fight forward or moving forward. So, NECA Ultimate Disney's Gargoyle Lexington. Available now. Go check it out on Rogue Toys. RogueToys.com. He's available there and I highly recommend. It was really good shipping, quick, assertive, and not overpriced. It would, you know, including the free shipping and all that stuff. It was a really good experience, so I recommend them. They are not endorsing me. I'm just plugging them myself because of my experience and based only surely on my experience. So, guys, I'll see you in the next one. This is your boy Heembot signing off with another episode of Toys in My Closet. Bye-bye. <laughs>